Hospitality cube. I don't need a place. Hospitality. Probably. <laughs> uh, foreign. Uh, Either way, he kind of taps on his uh, one of his little compartments. Uh, I am currently armed and prepared to participate in any oppressing citizens as we are pretending to be Imperials. Don't uh, <laughs> Question for you, Matt. What's going to look out of place or not out of place in terms of weapon? It's There's some pretty heavy restrictions on weaponry here. So if you're carrying... I, I mean... If, if you've got a blaster or something that's kind of tucked away, it's you can probably get around without any trouble. Uh, rifles are probably a bigger issue. I guess I'll leave my rifle and my spear on the ship then. Grenades and viper right. blades. Grenades, I assume, are probably out. Well, right you, out. You can only if they see them. You can carry <laughs> them. You can cons try to conceal them. I mean, it's not like you're going to get like a rifle. You're going to get before you can't walk out of the starport with that. But this other stuff you could probably conceal and get out at least without any trouble, if, if you want. Yeah, I'm going to uh, conceal and take my, my blasters with me. Athens going to have his blaster um, underneath his uh, cloak, I guess. It's like a cloak scarf looking deal, kind of like his icon picture. I don't know how to describe it yet. It's on him, it's hidden. You got like okay. a... A Lando half cape going, going on, there. on there. Yeah. He looks stylish. Looks good. He could fit in, in a big city like this. Capes are cool. Capes are cool. I announce in character. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so how about I go and see if there's any reservations open in this hospitality cube? Yeah, and, I'm gonna keep an eye outside, make and, sure anything. And you do know the specific one that he's supposed to be in. I mean, you okay. you can go to the specific place where he's supposed to be. Yeah, I know, but Athens just like let's go and look, but he's not gonna say let's go find this guy. It's like we'll go see about reservations in here. Says it really loud to maybe kind Nobody. of throw off people. <laughs> yeah, can't we just go to the guy's room? We don't really have to stop at the desk and check in, do we? No, this and this room faces out onto the street. Okay. Oh, so we know which room he's in? Yes. Oh, okay. Well then let's let's go then. Okay. I'll go I'll lead. Athena will lead. Looking stylish. Cool. We'll yeah, the... Kenton just falls in behind. Is there a bar at the hotel? I mean, usually there are, but I don't know about hospitality cubes. Yeah, you can yeah, you can you're... see a a, a a cantina that's attached right beside what would otherwise be the lobby. You've got kind of a, an area to the left that is a, a kind of a lobby type area, and then immediately to the right of that, and connected to it, is a small cantina, fairly classy looking. And then you've got these rows of, of cubes that people can rent and stay in that are stacked up probably five or six stories high. Are those those little, like, micro hotels you'd find in Tokyo? They're probably more like that than what we would think of as a hotel, yeah. Okay. That's what I figured. Like a bed and maybe some, maybe like a TV in the, in the wall or something. Right. Super yeah, clear. well, in that case, um, Jarek would kind of peel off and just kind of chill out in the uh, lobby Sir, slash her, bar and kind her, of, her. you know, oh. holler at me if something gets Mr. wrong. Mr. I'll Harrigan. make sure. Jarek. Jer 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 what is it, kid? Please don't get drunk. I make no promises. Please, and with that, please, finger blasters, and he's going to keep walking. He's just going to keep Listen, walking. He's not giving out another chance. Back. Goodbye! Designated That's driver! Wrong, I can't hear you, I'm getting old! Uh, That's our designated driver. He turns. Should I go arrest him? No. No, 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 no. It's okay. Take him down. It's okay. You don't have to arrest. And then he's gonna pat him on the head. But you could arrest him. 
you could, but you don't need to. You and basically could what physically I'm just gonna do, do the thing. Basically what I just want to do while I'm just kind of hanging out there is just kind of keep an eye on the goings into the, uh, the hospitality cube. Make sure no uh, suspicious characters are entering other than us. All right. So, yeah, so Jarek definitely looks a little out of place in here. This is a little higher class clientele probably than Jared uh, gives an appearance for. So he gets a few looks when he comes in. But they're willing to take his credits if he's willing to buy sure. drinks. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my credits work as well as anyone else's here. Well, let's go get our. Let's go to this room. I'll order his uh, his second favorite uh, drink, which is uh, Scotch on the Rocks. Space nice. Scotch. Space Scotch. On space, like space rocks. Scotch. All right, so we've got Nils in the lobby he's just kind of vanished into the lobby it sounds like and yeah pretty much and we've got Jarek in the cantina and so that leaves um i'm just going to kind of move you into roughly the your locations just so i can visualize it um so this leaves the other four of you kind of out on the street outside the okay so what's kenton doing uh i was intending to follow with athen but that's cool i can hang back oh okay i, oh, okay. I just i didn't know that's up to you maybe maybe kenton can uh can stand outside the door and tell us if there's any imperials that are coming by there's imperials right here <laughs> and, not former i'm former Former, I, I, I left. Order yeah. received. Apologize. PL All kind right. of lowers himself to hover in front of uh, Athens' head. Are you really? Mm. Yes. Yes. Let's go do our job. We have a job to do. We need to do our job. Um, Kinton, if you do want to stand outside the door of the hospitality cubes and tell us um, if people start looking suspicious or perhaps they're eyeing the hospitality cube a little bit more than usual um, or anyone in you know stormtroopers imperial guard outfits imperial uniforms let us know if imperial anyone... looking types I got it yes sir awesome Athens is going to give him a little salute huh <laughs> And Skilla, if you Skilla, is that how you say it? Skila. Skila, if you would like to come with us, I would appreciate your assistance. Yeah, sure. Whatever gets us out of this horrible city sooner. I used to live in a cave, and I'm claustrophobic here. It's not that bad. It's pretty. There's lots of lights, lots of things to do. There's nothing green. Not even a good fungus. Like uh, I, I kill for a uh, uh, bioluminescent mold on any of these eaves. Well, there's a dumpster. There's probably something moldy in that. How much mold Why don't you go find would it out? take for you to kill for it? What's that? Like, how how much you said you'd kill for bioluminescent mold? Like, a handful of mold? A, well, a building full of mold? <laughs> give me, like, six linear feet by a... or two meters by a meter and a stormtrooper. I'll kill that for that. How's that sound? I will go find a stormtrooper. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. PL, just Wh whose droid is this? Someone control the droid. I'm I was working gonna on go it. Find a stormtrooper. <laughs> just tell us if there's anyone suspicious. There are four suspicious individuals attempting to enter this room. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just tell us if there's any Imperials that are not me. Former. Can we former get back Imperial. to the ship so I can grab my glaive and kill this thing? No. And then, and then we can, let's just go get this Nemoidian? Yes, Nemoidian. Okay. It's a Nemoidian. Nemoidian. Out of this hospitality cube and we can leave. We can just look like we're picking him up where his car, his, his shuttle ride off the planet. Are we close to the doorway now? You, you can be standing by the doorway if you want. Yes. So is this Skills. an outdoor doorway, like in, like, motels in Florida, or are we in a hallway? 
it's an outdoor facing. So like okay. your your st- the street is to your back. Okay. Uh, and it's not really a street, but the public area where people are walking around. You, you don't need streets when you've got air air speeders. But um, so all of that's to your back, and then the door is in front of you. All right. Well, let's go in. Bill's gonna clank his little feeler on the on the door. Maintenance. Okay. If you don't. If you don't need a cover. So a couple of seconds later, one of these kind of droid uh, things like you see at the beginning of uh, the Return of the Jedi kind of pops out and its eye opens up. It looks a little bit nicer and cleaner than the others and it it mumbles some things in uh, uh, some kind of digital language that you don't really understand and then uh, just kind of turns its face and looks at Athen, who seems to be the main person that's there in like quizzingly in a quizzing kind of way. Hello. And then it mumbles more stuff that you don't really understand. Sounds like it's asking you some kind of question, though. Um, mm, mm, hold on a second here. Um, can Athen pull out his data pad and, like, Google Voice uh, translate? Sure, yeah. All right, um, he'll, he'll do that. All right, it says, who is it? What do you want? Um, I'm sorry, Matt. Who is? What does this guy look like again? Is it the Nemoidian? I'm sorry. No, it's it's uh, no. it's kind of this droid arm, like you see, come out of Jabba's door at the beginning okay. of Return of the Jedi. Yeah, except it, it looks a little bit nicer than that. Okay, um, I am here to see an associate that is currently staying in your hospitality cubes, sir. Right. And so then it, it says something else you see on your data pad. What is your name? Uh, my name is Athen Lead. All right. So it speaks for another moment. Then it pops back into the door. And a moment later, the door opens. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Or whatever you identify it with. <clears throat> so... This is a relatively small room, and you can see standing just on the other side of the doorway, uh, Kep, who is looking at you very anxiously and says, Are you the people from the Alliance who have come to take me away? No, we are Imperial officers. No, 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 no. I, I don't think take away is the exact term we'd use. We're here to extract you from the planet. You said you needed help, and we are here to do that. He, he says, yes, yes, very good. Let's get going as soon as possible. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, do you have a cloak or something you can wear? Um, I can give you mine. If you need to obscure yourself in any way. He, can he said, land on his head and act like a hat? You he may says, certainly try. Cloak? No one told me anything about a cloak. I, I apologize, sir. This is, uh... Just, just to, you know, obscure yourself if need be. I believe we will be able to get you off planet pretty quickly and under the radar. All right, he says. All right, very well. And then he points at Skila and Kenton, and he says, You and you, uh, these are my uh, bags. I need someone to get them for me. You may get them for me. He doesn't say I need someone to. He says you may get them for me. And you can see over in the corner of the room these two really big, awkward-looking, heavy bags. Happy to be of service. Yep, you got it. (laughs) All right, so Kenton, go ahead and make an average strength check. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it when a roll starts out with that. <laughs> uh, just straight brawn? Uh, yeah, straight brawn. Sorry, I said strength. But I meant brawn. Yeah, okay, so your initial, you initially try to pick it up, and it just, like, doesn't budge at all. 
and you have to kind of put a little extra oomph into it and you manage to get it off the floor and uh, kind of kind of rock back and forth as you start carrying it out of the room. Apologies, uh, Master Mul- Mulvey, but may I inquire about what is in your bags? Oh, only the minimal amount of things. They told me I needed to be very minimal about it, so I only brought a few of my things. Um, these are two very large bags that look like they weigh more than myself. As you know, ships need have to have under, you know, ships need to account for weight before we launch into hyperspace. And Athens going to kind of go on a little bit because he's smarter than I am right now. And talk about how there's weight limits on ships, so we need to be careful. And, of course, only take what you need to survive. The Rebellion and the Alliance will provide anything else to the best of their ability. Oh, he says, I very seriously doubt that the Alliance can replace uh, the things I have in these bags. And then he points over at Skila and he says, uh, you, uh, he says to Athen, uh, your other servant may take this one. Excuse me? Well, these are these your... Are not, <laughs> these are not servants, sir. He says, they are not. And he seems shocked. No. You're joining, you're getting help from the Rebellion, the Alliance, the people that, you know, don't like servants in slavery. All right. He looks at Kenton and then Skila, and then he looks back at Kenton again, and he says, you mean these people are part of your Alliance? Um, I yes. I am a servant of the Alliance, so everybody's <laughs> right. I assume you know what the Alliance is, right, sir? Well, of course I do. They are uh, an organization trying to overthrow the oppressive empire. Yes, and do you know who the empire likes to oppress? He says, people like me who are enterprising businessmen. And people like you who are not humanoid, or human. He says, we, we'll have time to discuss all of these details later. We lost Kate. I might be on the ship yet. in upper atmosphere by now. <laughs> Very well, let's, no let's go. Let's, let's do this. Skila, if you would be so kind to carry these bags, I don't think I'll be able to. Did the Alliance specifically request anything in these bags? No, no, they only told me to bring the minimal amount of things that I felt was necessary. That's what they represent. What's in them? Clothes, family relics. Family relics are important. A few books. Some data cubes. Is there anything in these bags that can be replaced? No, it is all irreplaceable. He seems shocked well, that you would even that's question wonderful. him. Thanks to Close. Cap, I'm no longer the newest person here. So, Rookie, you get to carry the bags. Who, me? No, Cap. Oh, Cap, yeah. You In the Rebellion, you have to prove yourself and... Um... Um... Carry your own weight, so to speak. Yeah, he says, nonsense. I cannot lift these. I had other people bring them in here for me. What if we open the bags and we all put on all the clothes? Uh, he, he just looks shocked and he says, no, I forbid it. I'm going to start putting on these clothes. <laughs> Sir, um... <laughs> Skila's going to start, like, just open a bag and start digging through it and just, you know, comically throwing things over her shoulder that he's, don't look important. He, he's waving his arms now, shouting at you, saying, no, no. You're going to cause That's a scene, That's mine. Sir. Leave it alone. No, sir. Sir, sir. We, sir, you're going to need to calm down before you attract Imperial attention. 
we we will take what we will take your data cubes your um what else is there what else do you say books family fairly heirlooms. family heirlooms those are all important things but we need to travel lightly because the city is very big we have a long way to travel to the spaceport and we can't be burdened by heavy equipment I, he says, I assure you, all of these items are necessary. Can we please go? All right, but you're carrying one of the bags. He said, I already told you, I cannot carry these bags. They are too heavy oh for me. Oh, my gosh. Cool. What do you think so, your commander is going gonna... to tell you? What do you think your commander will say if I report to him that you were so uncooperative and rude in the way can you... I, can I try to coerce him? Yes. All right. Uh, how hard is that going to be? I'm not great at it, but whatever. That is Leroy going. Jenkins. That's going to be two purples and a red. Oh, geez. Oh, should we roll destiny? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. We should. <laughs> We're all out of practice on this now. Who's going to mess it up? Well, we must have had some left because now it shows. It looks like it started at like five and five. Yeah. Oh, I bet because we've still do we still have. Uh, wouldn't surprise well, me I... if the old characters like still exist here as just hidden. Uh, actually, mine's empty. Oh, Kenton was the one who didn't do it right. Motherfucker! Holy crap! Have I got nine and six? Did we? Did I clear yeah, it? Before no, we, we don't have that. You got to subtract five from that, I think. From from, from which each side? side? Each side. I think so. No, we have one, two, three light, and one, two, three. I think four, four dark. dark. Four dark. All right. You should all have it now. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to use the destiny point. And I think this is going to work. Hang on. I'm about to sneeze. All right. I'm back. <clears throat> I think this should give it an automatic advantage because of my armor. So we'll see if that works correctly. It did work correctly. Nice. Can can I perhaps do a uh, boost, like an unskilled assist, kind of give him a glare so while at, she's coercing him? I yes, you can. Okay, I guess Excuse we me. both did. <laughs> well, I figured I'd roll because it's oh. my dice. Okay, yeah. Well, then we'll take his dice. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so if we're going with Athens uh roll, I'm sorry if we're going with Ki Skilla, Skilla's roll then yes, we're good. So um so Skilla's going to kind of saunter up to him and pull her combat knife out and start idly like extend retract, extend retract. Just be like command is going to say, "Wow, it's very impressive. You brought this guy here in one piece because you're still going to be in one piece even before the Imperials get to you." He, he, he yes. just, he, he looks shocked and outraged, but he says, well, I never, and walks over and yeah, well, picks, picks up one of the bags and begins to drag it across the room very slowly. <laughs> All right. Skeel will put her knife away and kind of dust her hands off. Job well done. Desperate times call for desperate measures, sir. And these are desperate times. He says, All right, well, let us go. Lead the way. All right. Um, Athens gonna get on the comms and tell the two in the, the the cantina that we have our friend and we will be outside shortly. Please. Aww, I was just outside. supposed to have my second whiskey. You can bring it with you. Put it in a little styrofoam <laughs> cup. Nah, there's plenty back on the ship. Okay. 
So let's let's get going. Might be a little slow, but we'll get this taken care of, All I right. think. So you start making your way through the streets, uh, back toward the spaceport, but now you've got Kenton carrying this big bag, and you've got Kep literally dragging along the pavement half of the time, the bag that he's carrying, just trying to get it lifted and uh, moving forward. I want to hang back a little bit, kind of in the order that um, we, we have on the screen right now, and just kind of shaking my head. Jerry cannot believe these shenanigans right now. I'll okay. help him carry one bag. I can get the other side of it. I'm a nice guy. Okay. Are we yeah. uh, attracting undue attention doing all this? Unquestionably, you are attracting attention to yourselves. All right, so Niels is going to go up to Cap, and he's going to use influence on him. And he's going to tell him, uh, if you leave the bag here, we'll send someone back to get it. Okay. All right, so that is not an opposed check, is it, or is it? I'm looking it up right now. Uh, hold on. I don't know if I can do that, actually. I think you have to specify an emotion. Yes, I yeah. do. With the basic power, the only thing you can do is affect his emotions. Alright, so skip that. Oh, no, I'm not. I want to go up and say, you know, hey, if you keep dragging this bag along, we're going to get caught, and then I'm going to instill a little bit of fear in him. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna take a conflict for that. Sure. Okay, so that would be just a four star, right? Yes. Uh, how about uh, I click on that? There we go. Oh wow. All right, so you've got, you you successfully, uh, he, he seems a little frightened, and he picks it up, and it's a little less heavy to him now, but he's still struggling with it. I mean, he's still got physical limitations to deal with here, but he seems to right. be trying a little bit harder, at least. PL is going to kind of uh, putter over and also maybe give him a hand there, just kind of latch on and help lift up. He's going to kind of peer over there at uh, Nils, though. Just kind of stare at him for a couple seconds. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, Kenton is kind of looking in front of you, and you can see that there's a patrol of about three stormtroopers that's kind of walking in your general direction. They don't seem to have seen you yet, or, or at least kind of taken notice of the oddity of uh, your appearance, but they definitely uh, um, are going to cross paths with you. I mean, they're eventually going to get in a point where you're right in their line of sight. Hey guys, incoming imps. We should uh, either get off the street or just open fire as an option. <laughs> I like no, both no, these no. ideas. You, you guys hang back. You guys hang back. Um, I'll go up ahead. PL, if you want to come with me to kind of look the part, um, I'll go up to them and start talking to them. Like, oh, good evening, fellow Imperials, and I'll just have a conversation while you guys sneak around them. PL kind of floats on after her. Like, him. Okay, like, so let's go ahead and have... Like that? Is anybody assisting Athen as he speaks to the stormtroopers? No, I'm uh, staying as far away as I can. Yeah, I'm yeah. Right here. Uh, Jarek is yeah. going to hang back as well and uh, just just kind of look casual and, and be ready just in case. I will join. No, no, no Ken, just stay back. To... Okay. Good evening. Athen's going to walk up to them and stand at attention, click his heels together. Right, Good so, Imperial boy. 
So you hear through the radio coming out of his helmet, uh, kind of that clickish sound that signals he's starting to talk. And then when he's finished, uh, signals he's finished talking, he says, what can I do for you, citizen? Oh, citizen, loyal imperial citizen, just enjoying a day out, night out in the city. How goes your rounds? Oh my god, Kent, this is painful to listen to. Even no, though. I'm no good at this. <laughs> he's good at this, okay? Like, he's going to speak in the prim and proper voice that I'm not going to attempt because y'all just make fun of me and I'll make fun of myself. Taylor will make fun of me, too. But right. he's going to go up and say all the proper protocol about, hello, how are you? How are your rounds going? I hear, you know, work at the base has been hard, so it's good that you're getting out and stretching your legs. I'm talking you know, about the neat new T-14. Yeah, just talk to him, like, shoot the shit Imperial style, which is basically talking about um, rules and be on the lookout for rebel ask him scum. How, ask him how the new regulations are helping. Oh, yes. How are the new regulations helping? All right, so go ahead and make a deception check. Okay, do I get any boost because I know what the heck I'm talking about? Well, um... It's technically not lying. Well, then it's not deception, it's charm. Yeah. Uh... All right, let's go with deception then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so I'm I'm setting this up as a deception check because you're trying to misdirect them into paying attention to something besides the group, which I presume is trying to disappear into the crowd and keep moving. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I can't really... I, I don't really think there's any basis for getting a boost unless Kenton's got something he's doing to try to draw attention. No, drawing attention is probably a bad idea. Just standing there. Just nodding randomly. All right, what's the difficulty of that? All right, on this one, I am going to... Uh, it's just going to be one uh, purple. Okay. Um, you know what? As far as actual, like, boosts and stuff like that, can PL just kind of, like, fly... Like, you know, hover over on the opposite side of them, just presumably drawing a little bit of attention there? Sure, yeah. That, that'll give you a boost. Sort of or anything. Making the cover story of him being an Imperial seem more likely. Or just, hey, I need to pay attention to this flying thing. Yeah. Right, just kind of to draw their eyes for a moment. Yes. Okay. All right, so they, they sit there and talk to you and uh, talk about, uh, yeah, they've uh, just brought in two T-98s. Uh, pretty pretty interesting. Uh, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're just about finished training on those new systems. Oh, wow, that's great. I hear those systems are really going to help the Empire. Um, yada, yada, yada. Empire's awesome. Way to go, Palpatine. Kind of crap. All right. And um, they wave and they say, very good, carry on. Very well, salute. And they, they salute you back. Empire, and em Emperor, watch over you. They salute back and go walk, sauntering off down the street. All right. So did we did we avoid them basically? Yes, and there's that right. that threat has now kind of disappeared off down the street now. Nicely done, awesome. Evan. Well, thank you. That's what I do. Mostly. Talk to stormtroopers. Yeah, that's what I do. Over the calm. Yeah, it was a little painful at first, but you pulled it off, kid. Well, it, it's been a while since I've talked to a stormtrooper. I like know 13 what? dating sites to specialize in Imperial military members. I do not know. You don't want no. No. Hey, maybe that uh, officer's uniform those. might be good for something after all, Athen. No. 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 I've taken the liberty of setting you up an account on three of them. <laughs> Ooh, am I anything good? <laughs> My goodness, don't swipe right. Or is it swipe left? I don't know. I don't know either. That's that's after Imperial our time. Imperial chicks can be kind of rigid, but we all... You know what, la, 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 let's just get the mission done. <laughs> PL, PL kind of stops. Wait. 
chicks? <sighs> oh my gosh, no. Right, yeah, so, like, like Rishi. So at like, about this time, know. Kep kind of stops, just stops dead in his tracks and starts looking around and he says, wait a minute. Where is the green box? And he looks at all of you like you're uh, incompetent idiots. The green box? The green box. I told you to bring the green box. You did no such thing. PL, replay, replay everything that just happened. I assume PL, like, records everything. Uh, I actually, that's, I mean, unless Matt wants to say that's something I can do, normally that's a item. That's okay. a, There's that's a, a, like a hidden recorder thing. That's a what? There's, that's oh, like a cybernetic. It's a cybernetic that does that, yeah, or just a uh. droid attachment for him. Well, it, in any event, he says, I'm not going anywhere without the box. You didn't say anything about a green box. We huh? were arguing over your your huh? two suitcases, which were the only suitcases. He crosses his arms and he said, I did so, and I can't believe the kind of treatment I'm receiving from you people. What do you mean, you people? Wait, what do, what do we mean, you people? I believe it's because of your species. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Jarek, can you can you talk to this guy? I'm I'm no good at it. Or Nils, no. <laughs> somebody other than me. Uh, Gale kind of floats down in front of that eye level of Kep. You do know the longer we spend here, the more likely it is that you die. He said, "I don't care. I'm not <laughs> leaving without the green box." Can I just go back and where, where did you put the green box? Jagger it, kid. Do we recall seeing a green box on the first? There was no green box. Yeah, I was it rifling it? through his bags. Was there a green box? Not in the bags, no. In, in the room in general. Well, you didn't get a good look at like what was back behind the bed and maybe back into the bathroom area. No, nobody really got a good look at that. So there's a possibility well, he's right, and there is a green box. Uh, Mul Mr. Mulvey, what is in the green box? You need to be more straightforward with us. It does not matter what's in the green box. I'm not leaving without it, he says, and crosses and continues to cross his arm and huff about it. You want me to knock him out? P.O. kind of bobs up and down. I do have... Uh, I can help. You can help? With knocking him out. How far oh. are we from the apartment? From the hotel? Well, somebody that's not dragging luggage and doesn't look too <laughs> unobvious can probably get back there within five or ten minutes and catch up to the group at some point. Oops. Is, that Is the box small enough that I can carry it by myself? Uh, he says, of course, it's no big than th bigger than this, and he gestures at something that's maybe twice the size of a shoebox. I right, must, while he, I must have it. While he's explaining this, I'm going to use uh, sense thoughts on him. Okay. So, all right, hold on. PL kind of says, "I have no lungs. I'm incapable of sighing." <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, sense thoughts. Is this guy? Is this something that we actually need, or is he maybe trying to stall us and set us up for something? You you have a sense that there's something that he loves that's very near and dear to him that's in there, but you don't get much more of a sense than that. Uh, you don't get the sense that it's of any kind of strategic importance. PL is uh, zipping off at this point, though. Heading back that way. All right, All right. we yeah, will just. Droid's got the box. We should keep moving. Yeah, let's let's keep moving. We will go retrieve your box. He, so he let's keep moving. Plan. Looks at you a little skeptically, but then he says, "Okay, very well." 
You know, sir, I, you really need to to loosen up a bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone alert the media. Athens yes. says someone needs to lighten up. I know that was supposed to be somewhat of an inside joke. I'm still getting the hang of those. Um, You're not very good at them. So I know. Can, can we get back to the ship, please? Yes, that's where we're going. This this place is giving me the creeps. Yes, I I know. This ain't bad though. All right, so uh, PLN re uh, manages to find his way back to the hospitality cube, searches around, and sure enough, behind the bed, kind of halfway under it, is a green box about twice the size of a shoe box. Um, it's not all that heavy. It is able to pick him up. Uh, pick it up pretty easily and uh, start kind of floating back toward the group. Is there anything else in the room of note? You don't notice anything else in there once you've picked up the box. Cool. Okay. Uh, then be bopping along. Be bopping along. Okay. So meantime, the rest of the group has made its way to the entrance of the starport. And... Um, there's no real like a security checkpoint or anything like that to go through, but the the Imperials are a lot heavier in there. And you do notice um, as you're kind of going through the checkpoint, there's a couple of Imperial uh, commander types that are giving you an odd look as you're moving along. One of them seems to be getting on a comm after that. Hmm. Hmm. We should. Pr you should probably hurry. I'm really sorry. I didn't catch that. Can you repeat? Sure. Yeah. So you've you've managed to get into the airport. There's not really a spaceport. There's not really a security checkpoint there per se. But there's a lot more imperial presence. And um, you notice one imperial commander as he he's kind of eyeing you all as you saunter by. And he seems, after he's done that, you've noticed that he's on his comm link and he's looking at a data pad. Crap. Oh, I have a feeling we're about to be searched. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Maybe I have something. Probably not. PL does have a couple of grenades on him. Nils, like, get on the ship. I'll talk to him. Just keep going. Please try Please not try to leave me here. Leave me here. We won't leave anyone here. I promise. Yeah. All right, so I want to break off and stroll over toward that guy. We'll keep heading for the ship and let's stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. because I need to fly the damn thing, I'm going to kind of begin pulling ahead. All my good and guns are in there. So. Yeah. I think you're muted. No, okay. I, I heard him. Oh, no, I just have him turned down really low, but normally I can kind of hear him. Okay. Yeah, I picked up Taylor just fine on that last that last remark. Yeah, so. yeah I heard him. Yeah. I was messing up. All right, All so, right, I, so. I, is the, the group as a whole is going to continue to move toward the ship now? Yes. Um, Athen may fall back a little bit. And Jarek might begin heading up a little bit more because, you know, got to get the ship ready to GTFO. Okay. Is, uh, right. is like Moldy said, able to carry his bag decently enough? Well, I mean, he's still kind of got it by both hands and he's kind of sauntering along with it as best he can. How far away is he's, PL at this point? He's probably sh slowing you down a little bit. Um, PL is uh, starting to approach this this spaceport from the outside. I'll grab the bag from him. Okay. All so, right, so is this uh, Imperial still eyeballing us? So, so what you notice now is... Um, there's about four stormtroopers that are definitely kind of following you toward your ship as you walk into your hangar. How many did you say? A total of four. 
Um, can I use things I find in the hallway to make a cunning snare? Um, Break some shit to fall, maybe. Yeah, what tell, can you tell me a little bit about the Cunning Snare ability? Uh, once per encounter, the character may take the Cunning Snare action, materials in his environment, to assemble a trap within short range. Each time another character moves to engage the rage of the trap, he must make a Vigilance versus Survival check. Uh, and then it goes into what I can spend different pips on. It does damage. Um, uh, once it springs the trap, it's expended unless there's a despair, uh, unless I disarm it. If somebody else tries to disarm it and fails, it snaps on them, basically. Okay, so where you, you can do that. Um, where do you want to lay the trap, and what kind of trap do you want to lay? Basically, I want to kind of move back to the... Uh, kind of behind the rest <laughs> of the group that's with me at the moment, at least. And then just kind of see if I can adjust something behind a crate or something like that. Or set up some kind of trip thing, so if an imperial S if a, if the stormtroopers come through, that like a hatch opens and the luggage falls on them or something, or a okay, a uh, an awning from a shop like swings down on them. I don't know. Well, so they're definitely going to be coming through. I mean, they're they're definitely they're following along behind you now, like they're trying to catch up with you through the crowd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, um, so you make a, they make vigilance versus your survival. Is that how it works? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we're still in a crowd per se. <clears throat> yeah. There's a lot of people. Now, as you get to your hangar, there's no one else that's in the hangar except your ship. Right. And you. But, um, there's still a, a pretty large crowd outside of the hangar. This is, yeah, a really I was hoping to get like the last little bit before the hangar be slightly in the hangar okay so uh, like a few yards outside the hangar something like that maybe a yeah we're just opens. about all the all the civilian traffic so to speak is tapered off okay so right. is there anyone behind us between us and the stormtroopers um Yes, at the moment the stormtroopers are trying to pick their way toward the crap through the crowd toward you. So there's definitely people between you all and the stormtroopers. Okay. Uh, can I make a vigilance check and find somebody that you know is not traveling with anyone, just somebody alone? Uh, yeah, you don't even need to make a vigilance check for that. There's so many people; it's pretty easy to pick somebody out that uh, appears to be by themselves. <clears throat> okay. Anybody else got anything they want to do? Um, <clears throat> Athen is going to... Um, he's going to... Can I use my... Uh, da, 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 where'd it go? Uh... I'll just look it up on this. It's easier. Um, valuable facts. Once per encounter, perform a valuable facts action. Make an average knowledge check. If successful, add triumph to one ally skill check during the next encounter. During the encounter. So would, That's cool. would combat be considered a skill check? Yes. Okay. So if yeah. I decide to use valuable facts on, say... Uh, Skilla's. Am I saying it right? Skila. Skila's um, trap. Well, technically speaking, we want despairs on that check, not triumphs, because it's well, kind of backwards. Well, triumphs for her but... next check, so I can go. Hey, this stormtrooper, if it comes up, hit for you know the spot in the armor where you know it's between the neck and the shoulder, because if you hit there, that's going to be the best place to, you know, knock him out. Yeah, we sure. can we can upgrade their check when they make it the difficulty of their check using that skill. I mean, I'd rather I'd rather give them the I'd rather give. Well, Taylor save the save the triumph for somebody shooting or something, since this doesn't since this interacts with cunning snare weird. Okay, so don't worry about that. Or then, maybe or... we can make it a despair on their part instead of yeah, a triumph on ours. Yeah, can we do that? 
Um, oh, I see. It, it automatically adds it. It doesn't upgrade the difficulty. It adds triumph. No, it adds triumph. triumph. Yeah. So, yeah, um, we can make it a despair. Uh, on the t okay. if you want to do that, we can make it a despair. Yeah. While while Skeela is making her trap, Athens going to come up to her and be like, "Hey, if you adjust this one part, you'll be able to snap into the um, the uh, separation of their boots and the leg armor. And if you do that, then you'll be able to snare them for a longer period of time." And he'll go over it and talk. Oh, I have to make a check. You have first. to make the roll. <laughs> so, what kind of education? I was thinking warfare. Yeah, knowledge warfare is definitely what that's going to be. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. So you've got a you've got a triumph to spend on that check. Hmm. I'm not sure. How long does that trap last for, Taylor? Uh, the encounter. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Um, so I was like, can it last for an extra round? Um, well, so if a if there's a despair on their check, uh, it can remain functional for a second use. So okay. I don't know if we can spend the triumph on this for that, or otherwise, I've got this book here. I'll look and see if I can. Yeah, can I give can I give that triumph? What's the name of that talent again? Um. Um, oh crap. Valuable, Valuable facts. facts. Valuable facts, yeah. That's really nifty. Okay, it, it doesn't say, hey, use triumphs on that for X or Y in the in the full description. That's what I was looking for. Um, how about, can I use that to... Upgrade their... Just upgrade this, can we like upgrade the survival check with that? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Cool. Okay. And plus an automatic despair. So I'm, I'm get, so smart at get this. Get two despairs like a golf cart flies out of the thing, starts running them all over. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Accidentally cut the fuel line. They start getting hosed down. Yep. All right. So we ready to do the check? It, it does the check when they get to the trap. So right. I don't so have to. What's your survival? All right, so I'm going to go help. Athens going to go help Kip into the ship. Okay. And then, from, and then of, Skeela's going to kind of hustle ahead because she wants to go get her guns. I'm going to help him with his bag. We'll okay. both strain. Oh, it's too heavy. Okay. He's going to ask, what the heck is even in this thing? He already says, I told you. Mementos, clothes... Things that I'm gonna All right, need. let's get going. Let's get going. I think I took the pack from him. Only what is absolutely necessary. It's my industrial strength hair dryer, and I can live without it. <laughs> you get the idea that that's probably about nice what it reference. is. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I put it in Discord. <laughs> okay. Hot air. All right. So about this time, uh, two of the stormtroopers come up to the trap, and. So that's going to be against three red. <laughs> oh, okay. So because is that with the upgrade? Well, that's with the upgrade. Okay. Um. <laughs> so how, where do the other t two red come from? Uh, my survival is two yellow and a green. Oh, I get it. Okay, I got it. So I was I actually rolled the the the, the I had the wrong pool then. So let me try this again. Um, it's vigilance, I think. Uh, so they're a little bit, a little better at it. Three, yeah, three red. So you're, so it's, yeah, the difficulty is just going to be straight up three red. Yep. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So here we go. And then there's a despair that goes with that too. Yes. Correct. So, uh. The stormtroopers suffer. That'll be four wounds, ignoring soak. Okay. Damn. And <laughs> okay. uh, I want to spend the despair to let it happen again, like before they get any further. And then uh, more stuff falls. <laughs> yeah, I want it like when they go to get up, more stuff falls on them. Basically, they have to try it again. Um, 
I guess with the two threat, can we uh, disorient them for two rounds then? Because it says I can spend threat to disorient for one round per threat. Okay. I'm going to mark them disoriented here. We'll put a token on them for that. And actually, if, if you, have, you get the effect a second time with one of those... With, dis, with, with a, despair. a despair, it can trigger a second time, so they'll have to okay. try to get through it again. Oh, I understand. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so just suddenly this bin opens and all of these boxes and luggage just fall on top of them. And these <laughs> other two come running up like, are you all right? You know, you can hear through the radio helmet the click going in and out. Uh, yeah, I think so. This thing just came open all of a sudden. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Uh, I'm helping. I'm helping doing this that, dude like, into speed the Speed walking. I don't look guilty. I'm helping him <laughs> carry his bag. All right. So after these stormtroopers uh, check them out, they kind of step on into the hangar, the ones that weren't in the trap, and um, they say, "You there? Wait." As you're working your way up onto the ramp. Um, Athens going to turn and face them and be like, what? Uh, we need to question that individual, and they're pointing toward Kip. What individual? Shove Kip into the ship. All right, they start trying to push their way around you and kind of move up toward the, and into the ship. It's clear sir, they want to grab a sir, hold of him. Sir, sir, this, this is illegal per protocol, imperial protocol, yada, yada, yada. Um, and Athens is going to try and shove him back. All right. So you can try a deception check here. I'm putting three setback on it, both because you're being hostile and because of the circumstances. So I'm going to say, don't bother. Uh, Ken will go onto the radio and say, we're busted. Uh, he Run. lifts <laughs> his left. Uh, arm and built into the forearm is a cool blaster thing that comes out and he fires into one of those stormtroopers helmets. Alright, so we are off. Whee! No, is sir! This... Don't enter! He's got his hands out and then his head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the stormtroopers are in. Need everybody else to get in. in uh, what are we rolling? Vigilance or cool? Uh, you all are rolling... Yeah, boy, that's a tough one, isn't it? Um, we kind of saw them coming. I mean, for sure, we're going to roll cool with uh, whoever drew Kitten is going to Kenton is going to roll cool. You're allowed um, to roll either, right? If you can roll cool, you can choose roll vigilance. Uh, I didn't know that. That's that may be true, yeah. but I would I didn't know it. Um. But anyway, the rest of you can roll and go ahead and roll as well, uh, uh, PL. You'll be there soon. Um, and it, the rest of you can roll based on what you think. You think your character was ready for trouble, then you can roll cool. Uh, if you don't think they were ready, roll vigilance. Uh, my dude, my dude is super paranoid, but cool and vigilance are the same for me. So doesn't matter which one I roll. Um, Somebody rolled a double my blank. And a force die. Yes, I forgot to take the dang force die out. <laughs> Matt, you'll have to change my two something to a two one. I re rolled my blank one, Matt. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. All right, so let's figure this out here. Um, the zero zero needs to go away. All right, so we got a two. The two one is good, right? Um, yeah, I've for, got a 2-1. For, for Nils, okay. Then we've got a 1-4 for Skeela. I assume that's okay. Then we've got, Kenton's got a, a blank, a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Kenton re-rolled. I re-rolled. You, you re-rolled off the blank? Because he had yeah, the first in there. Blank uh, okay. You reroll because you had the force die in there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that counts. Can a yellow die be blank? I thought it was a, okay. Never mind. Cool, I've got blanks, and that's fine. Yeah, I think so. So I have to get rid of that. All right, so that's the two one I'm going to get rid of. Yeah. So then Jarek's got a one one. Yep. And then 
PL has I, got an O2. Athen has a 2-0, but it should be a 2-1. I forgot to take my difficulty dice off. I forgot how to play this game. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a lot of this. I don't think it's going to affect anything because the NPCs rolled in at 1-4. So, yeah. So I think... Uh, I think we're, we're good with this order I've got up here now. And so since it was Kenton that initiated this, I think you've got to take the first, you need to take that first PC slot. Yeah. It's not in order in the turn order though. I've got, I've, in no, mine, it's, right. it's got the one, one above the one fours. That's weird. I, I said it descending it doesn't work right with the colons. I don't know why. All right, so let me re let me reorder that a little. Also, bit. my one four was actually a one two. I goofed. All right. Oh my gosh, Taylor, you're the worst. And I, you edited the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> AFK a second. In either either case, you would have gone ahead of him. Okay. Taylor, you bring me some tea. Uh, the the stormtroopers have a one four, correct? The stormtroopers had a one four, and it registered as a one two. Well, that's troublesome. I think you switched that one by mistake a minute ago. Okay. All right. Does this look right now? Some did one of the in, one of the PCs have a one two? Um, I don't see one. We're missing Jarek's one one. All right, we'll change. We're gonna change one. that one two to one one. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. Again, doesn't really matter because. Okay, I think we're set now. Close enough. So Kenton, go ahead and take your turn. Yes, uh, difficulty should be one. Um, y yeah. Can so I get a blue die for getting the drop on him? You're shooting, yeah, you'll definitely get a blue die for getting the drop on him. And the difficulty is not one, it is... Um, it's... Um, so I, I guess we're setting this by range. Sorry, I'm still trying to get back into this one. Um, yeah, that's cool. We're setting, we're setting it by, by range, range. So yeah, you're probably at close range. So yeah, it is difficulty one. You got the boost. All right. Yeah, yeah. I think you got the drop on him. Yeah, and, and if if you roll um, if you roll the weapon on your on your character sheet, then it'll give it'll give the information on the weapon as well. It when it displays oh, it in chat. That would have been clever, wouldn't it? Yeah, just uh, um, so what what damage does your weapon do? Five. Five. So that's five, six, seven, eight, and then you've got the option. Uh, do you crit on twos? On t uh, you have crit it's it's not got a great crit rating. Uh, one moment. Yeah, you're gonna be able to crit if you want, but crits four. Yeah, we'll crit. Let's okay. Do it. So you're gonna crit, and one of this there's this represents two of them. So one of them just falls down, and the other one uh, you put a nice burn mark in his armor, but he's still up. Cool. Are these the two we trapped, or the other two? No, these are the other two that came on into the hangar. The ones that are okay. trapped are still trapped. They'll get up and try to advance again. And you do see kind of off in the distance another set, a pair of stormtroopers kind of heading your way, trying to pick their way through the crowd. Okay. 
So uh, any movement or anything else for your turn, Kenton? Uh, I'll take cover. Okay. So you could go inside the ship and take cover. You could get behind the ramp and take cover. I'll be behind the ramp. Okay. So Kenton's outside the ship and behind the ramp. And now we got another PC slot. Ooh, can I? Can I? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, yay. Uh, quick draw, take out both my blasters because I have improved quick draw. I can do that. And I'm going to hammer at the guys that are, or the one guy remaining that is uh, still up. Okay. So you're going to be, so, you're gonna, where are you in relation to them? Uh, Jarek had been heading ahead to get the ship kind of, you know, ready to get off the ground. But as soon as he hears, you know, blaster fire, it's like, okay, now the fun part. Okay, so you're you're gonna be at you're gonna be at close range still, so that's just gonna be a one difficulty. All right. Well, since I'm firing with both weapons, it's gonna actually be two purples. Okay. Do you increase difficulty or upgrade difficulty? Increase. 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 Yeah. Okay, and uh, I'm actually going to spend one of the advantages to have my other weapon hit because I can reduce that by one advantage because of the paired modification on my weapons. Okay. And then I will spend three. Um, I have a question actually. Okay. What does it cost to activate the feature on my other weapon? What feature is it? Burn. Uh, two. Okay, well that's not going to work. Yeah, un unless it specifies a different cost, then um, yeah, it's two. two. Actually, that might work better than a critical. Crits well, is he, even, even, he even still going to be up after, after those shots? Shot? Well, depends. Can he survive uh, 14 points of damage? No, he's not going to survive 14 points a game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bernie's more stylish then. Yeah, it's just that's just flair at this point. Uh, well, in that case, I still have two advantages or four advantages left. Uh, in which case, I will give someone uh, a boost on their turn, and then I'll give myself a boost on my next turn, and then I'm going to go for cover. Okay. And you're going to take cover inside take the cover ship, inside. behind the ramp. You're already in the ship, so it probably so, just... Yeah, in the ship. The, behind the door or something like that. Yep. Okay. That... So the the stormtrooper... So basically, this one of the stormtroopers goes down, but also gets hit by Kenton. And then all of a sudden... Jarek draws his weapons from inside the ship and just bang, like bang, 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 and just kind of knocks him down. He goes rolling off the, the ramp. And the stormtroopers that are trapped under the boxes and luggage just look absolutely shocked right now. Like, what is going on here? And we got another yeah. PC turn. Go time, people! Uh, is four in here yet? Uh, no, he's he is a little behind the stormtroopers that are advancing toward the the uh, docking bay right now. Okay. So we've got a PC turn here, though. If if foreign wants to take it and kind of move, try to continue to advance toward the ship, he can. Okay. Um. And how many are, are, are in that group that's a little ways ahead of me? Uh, two. Okay. Um, and how many movements would it take for me to get to them? Um, it's just be one move to get to them, one maneuver to get to them. Okay. Uh, so Foran is going to uh, kind of float up behind them and be, excuse me, gentlemen, 
you drop this and uh, <laughs> throw a pipe bomb at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh so this it's all gone to shit. <laughs> this is going to be a ranged light attack. There's going to be civilians affected by this. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize that we were still in the area where civilians are around. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, it was a great idea, though. Yeah, for it, for yeah, he 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 wouldn't do that um, as much as I would. Uh, <laughs> in that case, he's going to uh, so so one movement to get into engage range with them. Well, I said to to get into close range. So okay. if you want to engage them, you'll, you'll have to spend two maneuvers. Okay, in that case, I will take the strain for a... Uh, how far, how many moves is it going to take, maneuvers is it going to take for them to reach the hangar with the rest of everybody? Um, they're probably, it's going to take their whole turn, but they're probably going to be in a place where they can finish this turn and then open fire the next turn. Okay. Um, in that case, I am going to take the strain to do a double maneuver to get up behind them. Okay. Um, can I try and do that quietly to hopefully get the drop on them? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're in the middle of a crowd and so uh, there's you're, you're, you can get a boost on that. They're not looking for a droid to suddenly come up and attack them from behind. Okay. Uh, what's the difficulty on that? Uh, I guess skull? No, uh, stealth? Uh, well, it, you won't have to. You can just get the boost. They're not looking for it. They're they're oh, okay. just not ready for it. So just okay. you can just make your attack with a boost. Okay. Do they have any defense? Um. So, uh, what what kind of attack are you making? Uh, this is a melee. That's a melee attack. And so, no, I don't think they do. No, it's they do far. not. All right. So, uh, Foreign's going to kind of dart up behind him, and there's going to be a brief little, little, uh, bzzz. No, there's not. All right. Well, then. So that's a miss. I'll let you use that advantage to make the miss bad enough that they don't even notice that you tried to attack them if you want. <laughs> I'll take that. It kind of just buzzes and then stops. Looking yeah. Looking at his, his arm shake it a little bit so yeah you just can't quite reach them that, is, that dern box is just getting in the way of your appendages and things that you've been dragging all the way across town uh, sorry uh matt when you have a chance can you like rearrange us i'm having a hard time imagining where we I'm, are on the i am too so so let's do this we got pl back here with the stormtroopers and then we've got Jared down here inside the ship. Okay. And then we've got Kenton under the ramp of the ship. And then we've got these stormtroopers oh just inside the hangar bay. Kep is already inside the ship, so I'll put him over here. Um, the uh, this these stormtroopers are dead. I'll mark them as Heals dead. Him. And uh, so I don't know exactly where Skilla and Nils are in all of this. I lost track Skilla of Skilla was trying to get onto the ship as well. Athens was over here trying to prevent them from coming up onto the bank. And so I guess we need to place Nils. I'm trying to get on the ship. Okay. Okay. So this gives us a kind of a better relative positioning of everybody right now. I think Athen was like in front of the the ramp. Okay. So he was like trying to hold them off. So in the meantime, uh, the storm these stormtroopers pick their way through the crowd. They've got to use their action and their maneuver, but they're clear into the bay, and they're shouting now. Wait, you stop! And Taylor. meantime, these stormtroopers over here are going to try to get they're up, really and they're going to trigger this thing again. Is that right? Well, if the other stormtroopers walk through that hallway, I guess they'd trigger it, too. Okay. Yeah, as long as somebody triggers it. Yes. So, um... Triggered. Okay, so we can have I think these... I, ideally, the ones walking trigger it again so it falls on all four of them. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it's not going to fall on all four of them, but it'll affect these other two if you want it to. Sure. So, um, so here we go with. I don't think it's going to be the three. No, it'll just be two red and the purple. Yeah. All right, here we go. Two despairs. Oof. Bullshit. So they take a little bit of strain, but they manage to kind of skip their way around it. Rats. Okay. So these these in the meanwhile uh, the the two that had fallen down, um, well it's just one of them that's left now. The other one is kind of in in he's defeated. There's nothing that's going to happen with this. Other one gets up and uh, uh, stands up and he's at medium range and uh, he's going to fire at Jarek who is in cover. And also I have uh, one defense so. Versus range, okay. so. All right, so that just adds the black. <laughs> okay, so. All right, here we go. Two purple, one black. Woot. And the shot fires wide. So we've now got another PC turn. Um, can Athen? So how many these stormtroopers are like within range of him? The the next turn, and they yes they are they're within medium range of Athen right now. Okay. Um, sh are all the suitcases in the the ship? Yeah, except for the green box. Okay, I was wondering if I could use one of the suitcases as cover, but I guess not. <laughs> um, um, I guess I'll just take out my blaster pistol and shoot the guy. Okay. okay. Now, just because, sorry, I don't mean to interject, but because it's Athen, would he have it on stun setting or kill? Um, that's actually a great question. He'd probably have it on stun. Are they within short range? No, they're not. So mm. I can't stun, can I? Nope. Okay. So, and then I'd have to do like an aim, a called shot if I wanted to shoot him like in the leg. Well, if it's a stun blast. Oh, yeah, you have to do a called shot if you want to shoot him in the leg. Yeah. Um, um, Athen will just scurry up into the ship and try and help get it prepped. Okay. Go start an astrogation check. Okay. Can I can I do an astrogation check now to make sure we get out of here on time? Um, you can get you can get into the ship. I, that's going to take both your maneuvers to kind of get into the ship and get to a station. Okay. Uh, All right. Your I'm maneuver and your action, but you can do that with your turn. Okay. Then we'll do that. Okay. And then I'll I'll get the check going soon. Okay. So move him into the area we've designated as inside the ship. There we go. There we go. Get me to a computer. All right, two more PC turns now. Go ahead, Niels. All right. Niels or Niels? Nils? Nils? Nils. Nils, sorry. Yep. So, Nils. yeah. He's just going to run up the ramp and get on the ship. Okay. So, I'll move Nils so. onto the ship. And that leaves Skeela. Skeela is going to grab her rifle from where she propped it since she had to leave it on the ship. Okay. And then just, um, like, drop prone at the top of the ramp so she can fire down out. Okay. From where she's laying there. But people, you know, people coming in can hop over her or what have you if they need to. Okay. Um, that's prob that's going to be two maneuvers, so I'll take the strain. And then medium range. Okay. Time to aim. That's okay. Let's see if I can hit something. Any I guess not. Yeah, so it misses, but you've got a couple of advantage if you want. You um, knock them prone or something. I'd like sense...
can I notice where the panel to shut the doors is with one of those advantage and get like a boost if I shoot it next turn once PL gets through? Uh, yes. Okay, I will do that. All right, so we, we're going to the top of the next turn, but we're running out of time tonight. So, um, so at, at, for this turn, PL is going to manage to make it through the door, um, and we're going to go out of turn order. But Skeela can go ahead and make her shot if she wants to to try and shut the door behind the rest of the storm. Okay, I'm going to double aim too. Okay. Yeah, there we so, go. so that's more Maybe than Maybe I can enough. clap one of them in it. Just kind of, yeah, trap one of them, and the Kill sparks everybody. go flying everywhere. And a moment later, you're all off of, uh, up the ramp, and the ship is kind of taking off out of the, off of the planet and heading off into space. And, uh, and you see Kep, he kind of grabs the green box away from PL as soon as it gets up there. And you better not tell me you forgot something else. He says, no, no. And then he kind of opens it up and kind of kneels down on the floor. And he starts making this sound like... And you hear this sound from inside of it. And kind of this cat-like creature starts to creep Aww. out of it. And he starts Aww. kind of petting it. And he's like, oh, my precious, uh, my precious uh, pet and uh, uh, just has all of this attachment to it. Did, did the bad people <laughs> harm you? Did they do something bad to you? Are you hurt? All of those kinds of things. Just no, kind of seriously babying it. Also, for the record, PL totally, like, just kind of dropped their grenade as he floated <laughs> past the stormtroopers. Just, excuse me, pardon me. Tink, tink. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that I imagine PL's voice as uh, Bill Cyphers? No. No, I like that. I like Bill Cypher voice. It's a good one. All right. You guys gotta watch Gravity <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. So, um, we went back for your cat. That's what you went back for. Oh, it's so cute, but I'm still so mad. What's okay? What's in the other bags? Courtney thinks it's cute. Athen, Athen is mad. Well, I mean, Athen 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 thinks Athen. They, Athen's like, oh, that's cute, but at the same time, you know, we went back for your cat. Why didn't you remember your cat? If you loved your cat so much, why didn't you get it in the first place? Also, what is in these other bags? You all had him rattled. Oh, it's 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 a ton of like pictures and data cubes and clothes and it just looking at it more than what you think he needs to have brought with him <laughs> he brought and his whole house no with cat him. food no cat food yeah there's there's definitely cat there's space cat food in there for sure oh my gosh oh okay well let's get this guy to the rebellion do we know where we're handing him off at yeah um you're you're heading back to your base you'll head back to your base but there's you're not off of you're not out of uh, the space above Empress Tita yet, but we're gonna have to pick up okay. with that next time. Alrighty then. So um, we we got uh, ten XP for tonight's session, and um, you haven't quite secured Kept Moldy yet. So there's some XP for that, but he's you haven't quite got him off out of space above Empress Tita. So it'll just be 10 XP for tonight's session. Now we get to duty, which I may no have to just... No one has positive spin. I may have to do that later. Does, it, does somebody get positive spin? No. No, we don't have it yeah. for the first time ever. So does everybody have it like on their character sheet, have their duty on their character sheet where I can go look for it later? I spend uh, mine for gold or credits. Yeah, sorry. You still have one, though. You still have duty. Oh, have, have, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mine's psychological warfare. Mine's combat victory. We did just leave Stormtrooper all over the walls. You did. We did. Well, it, Athen wasn't part of that. I I don't remember what mine was, so we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, Matt. So we'll, we'll do that before the next session. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. Bye.